How's it going everyone? It's Victor. I just want to show you guys how to rip some 2x4s. Make a little jig to do it. This will uh, help you rip them fast so you don't have to uh, make measurements and uh, and all that. First thing I did was I took a 2x6 and I screwed it down to my uh, to my saw horses. You can see that my saw horses have some wood screwed down to them. So I screwed a 2x6 down to the wood. Then I put two 2x4s two up here and I get them as close as I can together. You'll notice up, uh, that they kind of have a little gap in them. That's because of, they're a little bit bowed. It's the straightest ones that I can find. It's not, not a whole lot I could do about that. So you take a 2x6, 2x4, and a 2x4. You push them all together as tight as you can. You screw the 2x6 down on the end and a 2x4 down on the end. And what you're going to be doing cutting is a 2x4 that's in the center of them. Then you take and you measure your, uh, you turn your saw upside down and you uh, make it to where you can see the blade. And you, uh, you measure from the end of your, uh, the widest part of your, uh, of your saw to the middle of the blade, which comes out to be around three and three quarter, a little bit over three and three quarter. So that's, that's how far you need to go from the middle of your 2x4 to your 1x4 here. And let me uh, get this saw out of the way. Alright, I flipped the 2x4 over and I'm, I've redone the measurement. It's in the middle now. So what you want is you want to measure from this line onto your 2x6 and figure out where you want the edge of your 1x4 to hit. And mine was uh, 3 and 3 quarters is where I needed to be. So... What I would do here is I would take, take the measuring tape, stick it about on the line, and go three and three quarters onto the board, and uh, and that's where I want my that's where I want my my one by four to hit. And okay, uh, I took the two by four out here so I can get the measurements right. And uh, uh, what I did was I marked from the two by four to the uh, onto the two by six where I want I needed it, and it actually comes out to be exactly two inches, right at two inches, dead on the money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, take it, and I'm going to mark two, two or three different other spots on the board so that I can put my one by four on that line, and I'll be back in a second. All right, now you'll see that I have my my one by four screwed down to the two by six. And uh, I'm going to set the 2x4 in there, and I, I, I want to show you something else. Because you're going to be cutting uh, a long, a long uh, wood, it's, uh, when you stick the 2x4 in here, it can slide when you're trying to cut it. So what I did was I made some little stops down here. I put some little stops down there on, on the 2x4, so, I mean a 2x6, so when I stick this 2x4 in there, let me show you. Get the 2x4 in there. And you slide it until it hits the stops, and you want it to be about the where the end of your other two by four is. So that, and I actually should have pushed this uh, one by four over a little bit further, but it shouldn't make a big difference. And then you'll see over here where it stopped at is about even with the other board too. So you want to get it kind of close and make sure when you put these in here that you screw them far enough far enough in to where when your blade comes down the middle of this two by four, it doesn't hit those screws. You don't want your uh, blade to hit them screws. But that's pretty much it. You'll see that I got some bows in my uh, in my wood. I should have used a little bit straighter pieces, but since this is going to be for a chicken coop, I don't really care if it's uh, super straight or not. But that's pretty much it. I, I needed this for a chicken coop because mine got destroyed during Hurricane Harvey, and I wanted to show everyone how I made this little rig to uh, rip 2 by 4 So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like and subscribe. Uh, Leave some comments if you have any questions. I appreciate your time, and you have a good one.